Welcome back, fly fish food people. Um, we're going to tie a very technical fly here for you here. That was redundant. <laughs> anyway, I've got a, a little uh, jig hook in the vise. We're going to tie a, a really simple jig pattern. Um, this was actually my, my best dropper pattern in our, in our uh, Argentina trip. Um, so you guys have seen the mill spec series of flies. We're just going to do a mill spec perdigon. Perdigon which means pellet in Spanish. I studied uh, lots of Spanish just so I could learn that. So anyway, if you have fish that only eat pellets like they do in the wild streams of Argentina, this is the fly for you. Anyway, I've got a size 12 or a size 14 Hannock 400. And this is actually the metallic brown bead. I, I think this is a 3.5 mil. You can put whatever size you want on it. And to start out, I'm just gonna put the thread up here by the bead and just a few wraps will actually lock that into place. Um, the hannock beads and the hannock hooks really pair well with one another. Um, this is also kind of a cool product. New from Hairline, or Spirit River, aka same company, is the UV2 Cocktail Leon fe Feathers from the Asociación de Criadores de Gacho de Leon. Check that out. And these are UV2 dyed, so this, this has kind of a fluorescing hint to it. They come in all different kind of UV flavors, if you will. So I'm going to pick a very speckly feather from here and uh, just choose a few fibers from it. Okay, once I have my fibers picked out, I'm just going to kind of gauge how long I want those to be. And then I'll take those and tie those in on the bare hook shank to keep this as thin as possible. That's part of the magic of the Perdigon fly is that it's, it should stay really, really thin. Um, I'm actually going to build up a little bit of a taper on this one because I want it to be kind of mayfly-ish. Um, so that, that's what I'll do. Anyway, when I get it wrapped up to there, I'll trim the, the excess off. And counter or counter spin my thread to flatten it out, and from here I'm just going to wrap up a taper. This is where Curtis plays clown music. So one of the tr one of the tricks here to get a nice even taper is as I'm wrapping it backward, if I were just to stop right here and start wrap, wrapping it back forward, you can see it makes a little tiny bump. So I'll back that off. And as I'm wrapping, I'm gonna take a really wide wrap down and then a wide wrap back up, if that makes sense. And that will kind of even out that slope a little bit. So as you can see, that's a nice little conical taper on the, on the bug. I'll do one last twist to, to unwind my thread and take it all the way back to the tail. So once I'm back here, I'm going to take a black Sharpie or a black marker of your choice. And I'm going to mark up about two and a half inches of thread and wrap that forward. And it gives it the appearance of it being a quill body. So as you can see it still lays pretty th flat and thin and from here I'm going to whip finish it and I don't want any um, little fray ends on this whip finish so I've actually got quite a bit of tension on this as I do the whip finish. I'll trim it off and then the fly that I was using in Argentina had a little tiny tiny hot spot just the most minuscule thing out of fluorescent yellow so I'm just gonna do actually that's too flat of thread I'm actually gonna twist up the thread before I start wrapping it there we go that'll stay a little bit better um, So once I have that thread on here, I'm going to keep it fairly tight and make a little tiny hot spot. This is actually the toughest part of the fly, just keeping this thread all up by the, the head. So again, I've got a lot of tension on it. 
throwing a, a half hitch on there. Not a half hitch, a whip finish. So that's basically all I'm going to do to tie the fly. Now I'm going to come in with a tiny bit of Loon Flow. And the reason you want a really thin resin is because you want this first layer to really soak in. So not a lot of build up there. And you can see how that thread really fluoresces. And when you take that off, it's just kind of a dull greenish color. So it's kind of a, a cool material. And then you see how those tail feathers all, also fluoresce. So kind of a buggy little pattern. Now I'm going to put another little tiny layer of flow on there. Cure that up, and that's it. So this can also be done in a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, purple, brown, cream, all those different colors for a really simple peritone pattern that looks like a quill body, but it's really not.